Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph, and this is Expeditions Rome. Um, I went ahead and got on, and we upgraded our um, infirmary up a level, and I got a couple of items being made in the armory and All some well more hope. upgrades for the um, combats, the, the little combat cards we use uh, for the battles. Uh, we did all that off screen, just kind of letting you know what I did. Um, I can even show you here real quick. Um, if we go to the forge, we're building an upgraded pike, a upgraded scutum, and we're upgrading the rod of um, this thing. Um, we're making a level two of that. And that's kind of what we're doing. With that, let's hit the trail. Now both of our um, forces are a little beat up. We do have control of everything here, so that's good. Um, next option is we're gonna come down. We're gonna take this section here, I think. We already went up to this guy. Um, so let's go down and get that. So we got that stuff collected. We're going to head back to camp and pick up our um, items we had. Well, not yet. But we did get all that stuff crafted, so we'll go pick that up here. Let's see. You wake in the middle of, or you wake up in the night to a vague sense of unease. As you sit in, up in your bed, faint memories of an unsettling dream recede into the depths of your mind. Kalida is already sitting up beside you, dagger in hand, staring at the tent entrance as she blinks, as she blinks sleep from her eyes. Despite the gloom, you see delicate fingers untie the bindings that hold the tent flap closed. Then the cloaked figure slides through the flaps into your tent. The figure lowers its hood and holds out his hands, palm facing you. A gesture of peace or even surrender. Whoever you are, you had best have a good reason for coming to me like this. The man makes a valiant attempt to communicate in Latin, but he's quite poor at it, so... So introductions take a while. You gather that his name is... Ineni... And he is a loyalist of Cleopatra, currently serving the Pharaoh's army. A Cleopatra loyalist in the Pharaoh's army could be valuable. What do you propose? In Inni's people have been grossly mistreated by the Pharaoh, and he claims he was pressed into service against his will. He wants to serve his queen instead, with his life if needed. He explains that you should signal him during battle if things look grim. He will turn against his masters and strike down the enemy general. You would certainly forfeit your life to do such a thing. Then he struggles to express his feelings on the matter, but you get his meaning. 
He will give his life for his queen if necessary. The would-be assassin thanks you for your time and leaves your tent as quickly, as quietly as he came. It's difficult to sleep again after an encounter like that, but with Calidia here to keep your company, fortunately you are. There are other things to do in a bunk than to sleep. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's head back to camp. Let's see where our legions are sitting at as far as manpower and everything, and then we'll... Get some gear. Ah, see, Ligio Witrix has 4,100 men. He can get up to 4,800, so they're down quite a bit. And Legio Aphorium has got 3,900. They're down a lot. So we just got to kind of wait. Oh, we got to buy a new general for these guys. I think I looked because I forgot about that. All right, what do we got here? We got, we're missing shields and chariots. It's a chariot guy. It's a chariot guy. Let's get this chariot guy. Alright, so how many guys do we got again? So 4180, 39, 35. Alright, so what I want to do, let's get into. Did I say the factory was empty again? Gosh dang it. those all right so just kind of going to go through this real quick Generous, give him back that. We're going to keep that, even though that's got the up because it's got focus on it. Mm, it's not a bad one, but we're going to keep what we got on him. That on Denary. Yeah, I don't have any tacticals. That's what we need. We need a better pike.
All right. There we go. When's the next manpower recover? Let's see how much we go up. Looks like it was about the same. Let's go over here, get this. Rodents are a problem everywhere in the world, it seems. As mealtime rolls around again and you open your rations, you find that several of the sacks have been gnawed open by tiny teeth, their contents eaten. Perhaps the Egyptians are onto something in their veneration of cats. Lost five rations. Okay. Forty one eighty, thirty nine thirty five. Yeah, see, it's still 4180. They're 3967, but that's because we had guys, missing guys show up. We got 1,000 Dianari, so we're not rich by any stretch of the imagination. We can get money here at the cost of medicine. Food there. Does it look like there's a uh, one here? See, we'll just give them some morale. Many, many hours on the dusty desert pass, you finally see a village rise beyond the horizon. The mood of your Praetorians immediately improves, and you speed up to reach this potential place of rest and resupply. Riding into the village, you can immediately sense that the mood is dour, but also that the ire of the villagers is surprisingly not directed against you. After dismounting and having a little chat, you come to understand that the villagers are unhappy because their grain reserves are depleted, but they won't reveal why. Let's give them a day's rations. A day's rations to each of the two when we lost six. That's not one to each of the two. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, you pull out a few rations and wave the food temptingly in front of the famished villagers. After conferring with each one briefly, they agree to your terms and reveal that an Egyptian army recently, recently passed through the area on their way to attack a Siwa oasis. I think that's where we're at right now. Uh, we're not going to do anything, because I think we're already there. Yes, Siwa Oasis is already well defended by the Legion garrison there. Hopefully your participation will help your Legionari maintain control of the region. Uh, see, I would have liked... Um, these guys to be there to get the the experience and stuff, but Two hundred. They're at four thousand. So three bucks for one guy. That's the problem there. I get a hundred guys. have that much money. Alright, let's wait for the attack. There's really not much to do. waiting for the attack to come and then we'll go attack that city down there and I died I don't oh here oh they're coming from down here too hmm oh wow All right, so right now, everything is good for me and bad for them. So enemy morale down, manpower down. So if we use this guy, uh, let's see, we get some defense, we get some loot, and they lose more guys. We go here, they lose a bunch more guys, and we get some defense. We go here, they lose a bunch more guys, and we get some loot. Let's go with you, because you can still learn some, uh, some chariot skills. Which formation shall we use? So now we're going to have some missing guys and some enemy aggression. Let's see, if we wedge, we gain morale, but still have all that stuff. If we do a weak center, we still have all that stuff. If we do a protected flank... We get the morale and only have the missing Legionare. I guess that's the one we're going to do. Consistite Latos in Reaper's Dominus! 106 to 44. A 
Our rights have reached the enemy lines. So again, it's enemy defense, and we're losing extra manpower. If we spread out, nothing changes. Well timed charge. We still lose the manpower, but they lose some manpower. Square formation, we just lose the manpower. Square formation. The enemy is deploying their tactical reserves. Okay, so right now we're losing morale. So give no ground. Offsets all of that. Coordinate skirmish, they lose 50 manpower. Maniple swap, nothing happens. Let's do coordinated skirmish. Some more morale, or we can cover Legionari. Let's recover Legionari. Um, we'll lose a little morale, and that's fine. We got 50 morale or 53 morale after this. I would like to get keep our our guys in not quite as bad shape. So we got 138 DNR and another 209 DNR. Alright. You buy another 100 guys. Alright, where are they retreating to? To there. They're at 2600. All right, I'm going to buy some more guys for the Egyptian army, and they're going to send them down to take that city. Now they're at 3,800. They've got a lot of injured guys, though. We need to give their injured a time to, re to uh, recover. So 300 dude or 100 dudes to Africa. All right. So we're going to come down here and try to take this. with them. It's going to be rough. But we'll give it a shot. All right, minus five morale. That's terrible because our morale is one of our biggest issues. Enemy manpower at minus 50. I'm losing 50 Legionari. If we put you in command, we don't lose the morale. 
Um, we have 50 missing guys. They lose 50. If we put you, we still lose the morale. Nothing changes. You, we still lose the morale, but we don't lose the men. You, we lose the morale, but not the men. Um, I think we need to keep the morale. I'd rather have 50 men go missing. Going to get some of them back. As opposed to losing any more morale when our morale is at minus 50. The men are awaiting your orders. All right, so now the enemy's going to lose five morale. And we're going to lose 50 manpower. Strong right flank would be disastrous. Maniple channels would be disastrous. This is not good here. Extended line is nothing. All right. I'd rather have nothing than bad. Archeum Latius extended to 34. Oh, terrible odds. Terrible odds. But experience. Gotta get that. Our legion has engaged the enemy. And we got high risk to our commanders again. This is terrible, man. These guys just don't do good. Holy smokes, man, minus 125 manpower. Minus morale. Still lose the morale, but. We don't lose anybody. Oh, that's horrific. Horrific. Goodness gracious, I hate this. I just reserve the Egyptians for defense. You call that good. Tactical we got a high chance people are going to die. So right now we got 50 missing the Inari here. We don't lose anything. They lose 50. Terrible things and nothing. Let's do tactical reserves. Subsidia Bellica Inspector! They lose 100 to our 54. Almost 2 to 1. Christmas. These guys are terrific. We've done it! The enemy is rooted! Well, at least we rooted the enemy. Let's get some morale, I think. Morale is our biggest issue, so we're going to take the morale. Nobody died! Yay! Our commanders lived! A miracle. Alright, we got 147 dinare. All right, talk to the Primus Pitius. See what we need to do to pacify that region. Oh my gosh, that was that was a rough battle. I think the locals are gearing up and getting ready to attack us. Our scouts have seen small caravans headed to a stockpile. Weapons, most likely. Let us burn it all to the ground before they can stage more attacks. 
more attacks. They've been staging raids and disrupting our supply lines. Nothing too serious for now, but this kind of thing's been happening more and more often. Who keeps supplying them with weapons? Short answer? We don't know. I personally think these weapons were an old stockpile, previously hidden from us. Sextus thinks they're Roman-made, which doesn't make any sense, does it? What kind of resistance do you expect? I'm assuming our enemies in Rome, those two brothers are... Well, the one brother is, is out to get us still, causing this issue. Given it's a weapons cache, I expect our opposition to be well-armed. As to the size of their force, though... Your guess is as good as mine. It will be taken care of. Their stockpile should be our priority. I don't think they will resist too much once their precious weapons are already lost. Our way, Legate. How's the morale among the Legionare? I am pleased to report all is well. Sure, there is some grumbling now and then, but that is part of military life. The Legionari respect your command. Give me a report on the Legion's manpower. We're nearly at full strength. We could use a few more recruits to fill the ranks, but we're ready to complete whatever task you set for us. All right, just check. With a little more say. experience, I believe Legio Weaktrix will soon be the finest fighting force ever to serve Rome. Be well, Tyrius. Salway. Let's look at our armies here. So they're at 4,100. Look at that. 200 to 300 wounded. 100 missing. 50 missing. Alright, let's head out. Alright, where is our stockpile is here? Uh, you remember people talking about the desert back in Rome. Somehow you imagined a completely flat landscape, yet the desert here is anything but flat. The dunes are like moving mountains. Nothing stays the same. You are all strangers to this land, but unfortunately your enemies are not. They can move with the dunes and emerge without warning. You're currently passing through an area you don't remember traversing before. Taking it slow would be the safest option, but you would burn through more food and water. Um, march slowly and carefully. Let's find them before they find us. Slowing to a crawl with what feels like a crawl, you quietly and carefully try to clear the area, searching for signs of anything out of the ordinary. You pass through the dangerous area without incident this time. Was this a blessing from Fortuna or Mars? You may never know. Underground lake or river keeps this desert cave surprisingly cool. A dispensable source of water for the locals through generations, it is nearly always occupied. Alright, so one of our guys can go, and the rest are our other dudes. Do we have enough people to fill it out? Because we got him out there doing his thing. I'm going to send KCO. Uh, let's see. He definitely needs to go. He's working. Let's take you. 
take you. Yeah, I didn't think so. Don't I have another shield guy? Oh, he's the guy that's working. Okay. Got an archer. Let's take a second archer. And him. <sighs> Let's hope the archers pay for themselves. Would have liked another shield guy, but he's busy trying to get me uh, things. Oh my gosh. There are a lot of bad guys around here. All right, so I guess first thing we need to do is come and take out these guys. And then we've got weapons caches to remove. Okay, so we can get torches. They're probably going to get torches too, which is really lame. So what do you got? We got that, we got that, and we got that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Note to self. That doesn't work. Oh, that was all his movement. Bezil is watching us. Show them how you fight. Oh, they pick up torches. I hate when they pick up torches. Rejoice Ow. while you can. Goodness, I hate torches. They move as 
one. We must do the same. Oh, they're all coming at us. That's not good. Okay, let's do this. There are so many of these guys. Nothing's in range as far as that goes. Okay, so we got that somewhat working. really want to go too far forward with him just yet because here he's got one more movement point catch the berserker on fire Support me, and we shall be triumphant. Come on, admit you needed that. I need help to go on. We can't win if you die. If he comes over here, I can finish this guy off. But then I'll be at the mercy of these guys. Let's see.
Okay, so the Berserkers are the biggest threat right now. And that archer is not in, is not a little threat. Oh, we got a guy next to him, so he'll get hit if I move. So let's try to finish this guy off. So first, we will hamstring this guy. Then, <coughs> we'll hit that guy. Archer shoot him, which allows him to come over here. Won't be enough to kill him. him off. Come back to here. So you can stay here in case that fire spreads. your movement. Um, let's go to you. Should have done this earlier. I don't want to go through the fire, though. That's the problem. One, two, three, four, five... Two, three, four, five. Come down here and get to the archer, but then he'd get beat up by that guy. gonna have to do it for him I don't could put him here I'm gonna put him there in a little bit of cover go ahead and kill this guy <gasps> That's kind of my issue right now. All right. No! Oh, oh, he didn't. He didn't poison me. All right. Not getting poisoned is good. Got to kill the berserker because the berserkers suck. We're going to hold off a second on that. He's their leader. Did 
Didn't knock him down. I wanted to knock him down, but didn't work. Hamstring him. So that should mean he can't move, right? Stuck. Movement reserves to zero. So he's not going to hurt anybody, hopefully. Just in case, we're going to come back to here. that person So we're going to finish him off. Can't see him. He's a berserker, so we're going to finish him off. And we start heading to targets. Those caught on fire. Now I got to be careful because there's probably there's guys over here. There's one dude over there. dudes over here. I don't see any more dudes over here. Need to get that caught on fire. I don't know if that will activate. It's one guy, though. I'm not... I mean, I don't... He sees a dude. I don't think there's range here to catch that on fire. No. I'm fine waiting for the rest of the group. with him. Oh, there's fire over here. Him out front's not a terrible thing. That's kind of what I was afraid of. It's just that one guy. Oh, there's a guy up here, too. There's no other guys, is there? No, nope, it's just those guys. Okay. Not 
that range to do anything, I don't think. Oh, that's not... Yeah, that is a quick shot. Oh, that's not a... Uh, It's not what I thought it was. <laughs> if you see the enemy, duck oh. and I will shoot. <sighs> I didn't see those guys. Where that guy? That guy came from nowhere. Uh, uh. Alright. One weapon stockpile is down. Well, those ones are about to go. Those ones have some time before they go. I don't really gotta go anywhere else. This'll, this'll be the full seven. I can just wait for the things to go down. All right. We got a couple of berserkers coming. We got a pawn. We got a pawn. All right, strike. Let's get him stuck to the ground. Kill him if I can. Did I forget to move him last turn? Just bring him up to the group. Pick up some fire. Cover. He was pinned. Mm. That was annoying. Basically, it was the moment they revealed themselves, off they are dead. To not do anything there.
keep him on fire. Pull back. Three to four. Yes, and you can't see him. Yeah, no. I'll be ready for them. The moment they reveal themselves, they are dead. Okay. Don't want berserkers coming back. They're just going to stand there. Oh, now they're going to shoot. If you see the enemy, duck, and I will shoot. So next turn should be the end. The moment they reveal themselves, they are all right let's do some looting nice loot let's see what's in this chest Loot. Nice loot. Nice loot. Bad loot. Let's see, exit. 
No loot this way. No loot up there. No loot up there. Or up there. Just got this one box left. How the heck do I get to that box? There we go, there's a ladder. All right, I'll go ahead and call it here for the day. Um, I will uh, get out of this cave um, off camera. Thank you guys for watching, I do appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate that as well. I have been Sir Joseph. As always, you guys are awesome. Until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.